What is up, my Briar players, my little Briar holics? Very good news. I know the Briar tech, and I will tell you the Briar tech. In this new patch with all the item changes, so far I see two very optimal builds. One is more unique than the other. This game, I'm going to do the more standard build. Titanic into Cleaver is the best option right now in this meta. And a big thing is Tiamat is really good. Your build, as long as you have a Tiamat item, it's really good. So going to Titanic is really strong right now with how jungle experience got buffed. Farming after your first clear is actually very strong. You can get really accelerated, very high level now. Keep up your levels with soul laners. That's a big thing. Second, Titanic with press attack. Very nice with the rune setup. I pretty much do the same rune setup except for I'm going Legend Haste, the new rune. Plus, I'm trying out Cut Down, which are both really good. So for Pavs, you always want to start Raptors. It's even more important to kind of play for your farm now. I would say ganking is still good, but... It's actually very, very, very important to be farming a lot more now. So, for starters, what I'm banning is Karthus. Karthus, a degen champion. The new AP jungle item is really broken. So, a lot of AP junglers are extremely broken right now. Yeah, so I recommend banning Karthus because he is by far the best jungler on the patch. Secondly, yeah, AP jungle is very good. For Briar, though, when you're building tanky, it's not really a big deal. You're going to extremely... You're going to still be extremely strong, so you don't really worry about that. Titanic Cleaver... You go into your standard build. You can go Sterix if you like Sterix. You can go into Death Stance, Maul, these type of items. There's also that new item that came out. The tanking HP one. This one is actually very good as well later in the game if you want to somehow fit it in. But Death Stance is a must. Remember, we talked a lot about DD. It's extremely bro broken. This game, I'm doing... I'm on my Diamond account with Linsel Warwick and a Zed combination. So Warwick Jungle, I mean... Like, depending on the champions, I don't really change how I play. I, I still play heavily in where I'm farming. Ganking is still good with press attack. We generally have good gank combos, but in general, we don't really want to over... You know, overextend for a bad gank. You, me, Kaylin, we definitely have to punish this lane, but whether I need to go now or level 4 is what I'm sort of thinking about. And I think level 4 is fine because we don't really have the best gank setup. Nami really realistically isn't going to set me up with a very good gank but now that the flash is down we have to go right so there that's like really good seeing them use their summoners like that is pretty much a guaranteed kill kaylin ghost you me heal so what we're going to do is start and make sure we're not going to walk into warwick and now we're just going to start to move up ping that we're going in we just want them to know that we're going in get the vision flash over the trap get on her e and then hopefully we can maybe get another one here here, we want to go on the Warwick. And then go on the Yumi right after. That should be a kill. Jin should be able to get in. Beautifully done, everyone. Beautifully done. Special team, special players. Very special work. Jungle running it down like that. Here, we help push the wave. And then we're going to go back to farming. Also, the second build that I was, was going to touch on is actually Blade of the Rune King into Black Cleaver. Those are the two options that I think are extremely strong. Blade of the Rune King got buffed in a wave where the stats are much better the attack damage attack speed and likes to went up but they nerfed the auto percent health damage which is actually better because now it's not very you know it's it's more open so here i i yeah i could do gromp or i can base right so it's sort of the decision i'm making so here if i was going to go cleaver i would build into here but like i said this video we're doing titanic both very good items i could go i really like the tunneler as like a first buy it, i don't like getting you know the Tiamat, to honestly, I'd rather, if you can get the Tunneler, just go to Tunneler, get a sword too if you have. Tiamat second buy, it's really good second buy, not so much first buy, that's what I think. Because HP is really important, having 250 HP is extremely, extremely good. So we always want to, we can buy Tunneler, we always buy a Tunneler, okay? Which is the, the item thing. Sure, we're going to go into Titanic, and yeah, just make sure we farm, right? Like, I'm playing for objectives. The first dragon... Like, I don't care as a... Like, the first dragon doing it early game, it really depends on how strong you are in the bot lane. Even though my bot lane is really strong, it's not something you really want to do that often until you get, like, a gank off bot. So if I was to kill bot lane again, that's something we can definitely do. And because I started topside, I am pathing towards bot lane. So I will have my gank timer again. And, you know, this meta, in my opinion, really important to just, you know, gank bot. Bot laner is extremely dumb. Like guacamole, so easy, so delicious to eat. You have to kind of 
you know, really punish them. And, and they're really good at dying. So 80 carries, especially with the new crit chance items, 80 carries are extremely strong. So with all that strength, they become dumber. So it's easy to kill 80 carries. That's what we want to capitalize on. Her. But I don't have the best gank setup, but because there's no summers down on them, sometimes it's not that important. Here, I should save my spike because I might have wanted to do dragon afterwards. So what I'm thinking right now is, okay, I'm probably walking through wars, but this is timed out. So there is no ward here. If there's a pink, we clear. And I just want to find Warwick, because I think Warwick is paddling bot side too. So what I'm doing is not going to go for a gank. I'm just getting vision. I want to know if Warwick is here. And now I see Warwick mid. So that's good. Because it means we can actually dive. And diving is hard. But it's easy when you know the enemy use the, all their summers. Nami should always tank first in that situation, but Nami is a, a little rad who doesn't like tanking. There we go. That's my girl. So here we have to respect that war could come. Well, also, I've lived my life with disrespect, and I don't remember where he went, so I assume Warwick might be somewhere else. So here, like, okay, Nori, why don't you do dragon? Why don't I do dragon? Well, extremely low. I, I'm not good with knowledge of the Warwick position. I am low enough where he could blood scent me. And if you know blood scent, it's extremely dangerous for us to be scented. My balling is too low to help me. And it's like, I, I, they did end up getting the objective of Void Grubs, but that's nothing I can do. I play, you know, I, I like to play towards a side that I think it's really easy for us to win off. So here, now I have to decide on whether I want to go top side or play for, okay, he's really low. And my Krugs are up. So here, there's a 50-50 chance he just starts my Krugs. So what I do is I actually like to ward over in that situation. But he's actually running here, so he might be on crab. And I, I think he's low enough that I can win a fight. So what I'm going to do is just see and go on him right away. We want to go on him right away here. Press attack. Use it. And echo should help us. Ghost is quite fast, but Ghost got nerfed, so he might time out. He's actually one-shotable now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to see if he's trying to do Grom. He should be dead now. And I'm going to R in advance. Damn. I did a lot of damage there. Hopefully my team can pick up on that. Echo, come on. Echo. Come on, Echo. Let's do some Echo things. Come on, chop, chop. Chop, up, chop, chop, Echo. Get in there. Go, oh, you have R. You can you definitely get out, my man. Don't let my death be in vain. Let's see what he's cooking here. So here he should definitely just go on Zed right away. Because Zed is... In worst case, he has the R here. He's trying to pull the wave, but now he's getting chunked. And he's no longer looking to kill anymore, so I'm very questioning. Here, you should always proc the shield. Very, very... You know, that's just terrible. I died, I died for this, right? I'm back now. Overall, that's a pretty good play for me. You know, I just killed the Warwick. So if I kill Warwick, I have to think about where's Warwick going to go next. And right now, Falling's winning really hard. We should be getting this dragon. I definitely want to either dive bot if Warwick isn't here or do dragon if Warwick is here. So here I'm going to finish off this one camp and then we're going to go for that. Here I have the ability ace rune. I just really like it. I, I just think ability haste is really important on Briar. Attack speed is something you can easily purchase as well. So here check dragon timer. Okay. We should do it now because while ball lane is really strong, a ball lane has push and the enemy ball lane is under tower, right? So that's always a good sign. To be like, these are like steps you want to know in your head that like, okay, this is good for me to do dragon. But the ability to haste rune is really OP. And we we'll just might have fast get it over with. I believe it is fully stacked now, right? Yeah, that's 15 ability haste. We're really important because of this build. The builds that I'm telling you to do, you don't actually have that much ability haste in it. So you have to sort of gather it from other sources. Here, Krugs are down. So Warwick did farm away from us. So what that tells me is that Warwick is going to be pathing up. And that also tells me that I want to kill bot lane whenever they show up. But now they actually play that well, so I'm just going to EM back up. They should 100% win on them when they use everything right there, but... I still think I can R here, especially with their spells down. I think Nami should R here. I have E, right? So I can always E all the damage. 
If I can get a couple autos off, we can definitely kill. I might just go for it here. Beautifully done. Auto as much as possible. Hopefully Zed takes this shadow, but unfortunately... And that's how we do it in the hood. That's the Briar tech right there. Live it and... And bip it. I don't know. I'm just speaking gibberish. Here I have my Titanic, so I want to base. And with this build, we want to go into Cleaver second. Boots. Tabbies or Murktress. It depends up. Depends on the game. Here I will do one. Sorry, armor boots or MR boots. Depends on the game. This game, I'm going to go for armor boots, but... If I had 300 gold there, I would buy a cloth armor because I'm going into armor boots. But because I had 400, I end up buying a ruby because I'm going to cleaver second, right? So I'm building into my second item, which is a cleaver. And having a ruby, you know, you just want to kind of spend your gold wisely. You know, I could just get more out of my gold by, you know, getting the ruby. Here, I think Aatrox should come. We should check if Warwick is on here. I have smite, right? So I can always smite one. I have titanic, so I'm extremely strong. Okay, this might be a little crazy. I have to eat in advance here. Definitely one kill. I was hoping Aatrox could come a bit earlier, but... Warwick does counter my champion a little bit. I'm not really that worried, though, because why? We demolished Balling. We took Balling out of the game. Balling is the most broken. Jin is going to have IE second. I'm telling you, with the new crit items, it's insane how broken some of these AD carries are. If you pick an S tier AD carry like Jin, Samira... Draven, Jinx, any sort of high damage crit AD carry in this meta right now, and they get two items with IE, game's over. It's extremely broken. Here I see the fight happening. I think they win it without me, but I'm just coming in case they need me, but also mostly because I think Warwick would come too, and I would want to counter that. Here he's actually there now, so I want to come now. So here I'm going to W in. Go for the kill. We have Titanic, right? So... I'm going to R just in case, because I think I might need the R to kill. I'm going to W, right one, it runs out. Right, we have, you know, perma chase, nothing really too much going on. Oh, the poor little doggy. Alright, I'm going to just kill him. I'm, I'm just going to kill him, man. Call me speed, because I'm barking all day. Here, I want to think about Yumi. Maybe Yumi. Because Yumi's not on Kaylin right now, so I wonder where she is. Waiting for an item, maybe warding. Probably warding. So here, this is an angle where this guy's trying to push the wave out. And you know what's good about that? What's good about that is that it becomes really easy to gank them after. So that's my goal right now. And I have a perfect position to come from behind, but also I want to finish this camp. So here I do the last autos, and now we go for the gank. So when I'm ready to gank, when I'm actually moving, I actually, now I ping. So here we're just going to W. And good to go. Here, I don't really want to chase. I mean, the idea of chasing is okay, but I don't want to chase. This gives a, a good spite. So maybe we can join in here. You might need me afterwards for the war, for example. I don't think I'd win the, against this guy, but we can try. I'm going to E just in advance. I actually think I was going to win that until the Yumi showed up with R. You'd be like, Inori, you're never going to win that. I actually had Q and Titanic coming right back up. But the Yumi showing up ruined that 1v1 battle. It was a glorious battle. It was a glorious battle, but the Yumi's a rub. And here, this new item's good, but I don't know about second. I would probably build it like third item, if anything. And here, we go into like our item where we would be going into Flex Cleaver. Let's get our Phage and build into that. So... Build wise, you know, Sterics is still really good. Third item, we never second, it's always third if we're gonna go for a DD. This item, you can always go Sender Sky still. For MR, you can always go Maul if you haven't built Sterics yet, which is a possibility. Here, I should probably go into farm mode, right? There's really nothing else up until after Dragon. So, we're gonna do Dragon and then just kind of promo farm. Yumi has given up on balling, so that's good. That means like the cat is dead. We broke the, the morale of the bot lane. Very important. So here, the comboing on Briar is really important with Titanic. Usually, the idea is, you know, you you want to use your W, your Q, and your press attack all together. And just use it after, right? They're both auto attack resets. So that's really important to kind of utilize as much as possible your auto attack resets on this champion. 
So here I'm gonna do cleaver. I'm gonna go into just farm mode. Titanic is all attack reset, as you can see. The cleaver gives you a really good spike. It got buffed as it got buffed as well. So it's a really strong item, better than Sunder Sky, I would say. But it's not saying you can't have both of them. You can still build Sunder Sky with cleaver if you want. It's up to you, really. Here I could play for an R, but she's so weak that I don't want to waste an R on her. I'm going to check if any of my camps are still alive. She flashed. So they're all down. That means Warwick is probably in this side of the map. So what I'm going to do is that is recent. So he's actually here. So what I want to do is move with my ball in. There's a chance we could fight here. Oh, we going. <laughs> we going. Sorry, I only know one thing and that's to go. Sorry, my, my car, my, my my Briar vehicle is stuck on drive forward on sports, sports mode. I think they win that. I mean, Draven just has to, or sorry, Jin just has to kind of like walk up. Atrox is kind of strong, sort of, not really actually. It's actually a huge kill we need. Wait, beautiful. They they got mind control to run it down. That's actually incredible. You love to see you love to see it. You love to see it. So here, I mean my red's most likely down. I want to farm, so I want to go bot side. These boots, I personally think they're trash, but who knows? It's work build extremely. My farm is respawning top side, so we go top side. And this game I played heavily around, you know. Here, I'm going to try to get Titanic. No chase for the kills. She's putting a bunch of traps, but I can just edge my body through it. You know, Briar's thick, but not that thick. Here, I'm just saving my Q for her combo and then Titanic one shot. Now, we're just kind of back in the game, ready to go. So, I'm just getting a little confused about... Maybe the, the ability haste rune is technically bugged right now. Maybe not, though. I can't tell. Oops. Shiba. I'm just here, I always want to short trade someone. Whether we want to fight all in, and this is, it's not really that interesting. Damn. <clears throat> ah, if my E was up, if I got level 11 off that, that would have been really nice. The goal there was to survive her, his whole combo, Vladimir, R, whatever. If I could have lived there for a bit longer, I could really have done some damage there afterwards. But yeah, these are the builds I like. I like just going, pretty much this is my go-to now. And then I go into either, you know, Sterics. This, you can go the Overlord, Blood Mail, DD, Sunder Sky, core items. Just like that. If you want to tank MR item, if you want to tank MR item, you go generally Spirit Visage is really good. That's sort of my go to. The rest of them are kind of not that great. You could go first in nature too, but that's like if you want MR item. But usually you don't really need a true MR item, so don't get baited by building MR and Briar. Just go, you know, more HP or DD is relatively good enough. But you always need DD eventually. Just think about like Sunder Skies like an MR item. Or if you just skip out on the other item, just go into Maw. That's also a very good MR item. So here I'm level 11, extremely strong. We want to make sure we hit R to get the fight going if we need to fight. That's very good for us. Here, our level is actually not as high as we want. Maybe we want to farm a bit more. There isn't really much happening. We set our lane up really well. Everyone's kind of winning. Balian's fighting. So I think Warwick will be bot side. So what ends up happening a lot of times like this here, I'm going to R because I think I can hit it in this direction. Headshot. Should be going on Warwick, not the guy who's most likely already dead. I think Warwick is going to be on Krug, so I'm probably going to look for a ward here. I really need Cleaver. I don't have Cleaver, so I think Warwick is going to be lurking around. Just reds up. Maybe we can one-shot this. Did he not see me? Oh my god, where's my teammate? Kill the Kaelin! 
She knows too much. She knows way too much. Somebody, please. I'm gonna kill her, actually. She see she's seen too much. She's a witness. She's a witness to the crime. Kill her. Kill her right now. This is scary for me. I don't know. I need to heal up. Orc is coming too. Maybe we'll just do it fast. Oh my god, this guy just drove by. I'm gonna R. How did that work just steal that? That's insane, man. What am I watching? This guy's unleashed. Literally. I have a lot of money, so like I, I'm not as strong as I, I really should be. Like I could be a lot stronger here. So I will I should be a lot stronger, guys. So I really need a base, but there's so much to farm here. Titan boom. Headshot. I, I want this. I want this crab. You can always W over like this. So always make that range. I want this crab. I don't care they got the dragon. Like, it'd be like that, right? You're not going to... Things happen. Things happen. I have a lot of money. I have cleaver. From there, we're going to go into our build that we find to be very effective. I really... So here, this is what I'm saying. Like, we can go into DD or the new item is not... Honestly, not that bad as well. I kind of dabble with this item third. It gives you a really good spike. It's sort of like going... Let's say you're trying to go into... Sterics, right? Like you could go this item, Sterics or DD, in my opinion. Or I guess Sunder Sky as well. Here I just want to make sure my red is not being stolen away. If you want more damage, this item is gonna give you the most damage and it scales extremely well. So that's why I like it. Also, the build path feels really good. You just stack a bunch of tunnelers. <laughs> tunnelers, tunnel snakes rule. Where are the tunnel snakes? Uh, that's us. Sorry about that tunnelers. Here, I mean, I want to play for Baron. I'm not really going to tank. Like, I won't tank any damage from Baron, so. If I want to do Baron, we can always start it. So we should do it right now. My team's so far away. So far away that I don't know if we can still do it, but I'm going to try it. Because I can always tank and then Aatrox. Just watch out when you Q it. Sometimes when you Q it, it, like, makes you, like, hack weird. No, it should be free. This guy is so far away. He's too far away to make it, right? So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Good flash, Kaylin. Well, I mean, they, I knew I was on a ward. I was just curious why they thought they could do that. Like, do they not know whose house this is? So work out. The dog is near. I think he's on my jungle. He's not here. He has to be here. I can smell a dog. A roach, if you will. I just want to make sure he's not here. Threw him out. So I have my item. So let, let me show you how much this item gives you. So if I have this much HP currently, this guy's dead. I mean, I pinged him. Maybe. It gives you 32 bonus attacks, 40, 50, 60. So this gives me 72 at 80 right now. So that's extremely high. It's a really nice item because it gives you a lot of HP as well. And it goes higher as you go lower. So very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm quite happy about that. So what I'm going to do is actually finish this tower off because I see them all sort of like splitting off. So here I want to get ready to R, but I don't have R up yet. Here I just have to combo him fast. And then once he pulls, I just kind of have to do whatever. Damn. I messed up my combo there. I needed to one-shot him right after. I was hoping the Nami was like watching me and she was actually coming. Here after this item, I would go into like the DDA. DD has pickaxe, so you can always buy pickaxe into the build as well. Jin solo pushing mid, not the best, not the best. And Blade of the Rune King is actually really nice right now. That's why I was saying as my other build, I like Blade of the Rune King first item though. If we're going Blade, we're going Blade Cleaver build. If we're not going that build, then we're going to do the build I'm showing you right now. 
which can be really flexible. Like these two items, very core. You could have, I could build this one at any point if I'm against like a lot of CC. And I want to be really, if I'm going to do more damage, this build, this item will give me the most damage. Want more tankier, this one, if I want simpler build, I would, I could easily go for like the other build as well. So here I'm going to make sure I can just farm up and play for dragon. So here I'm just farming. Titanic with this item is extremely good. That's also why I like it. But I'm not really going to be unkillable until I get DD because DD is just a really good item on Briar, but the way it works and everything like that. Your Jin looks extremely dead, so I don't know if I want to R. Oh, I actually got one shot there. That's surprising. I thought I could get on Vlad fast. Yeah, Jin, I don't know why you're just always random position. Always a random spot, my man. Always a random spot. And also with the pickaxe bot, you can go into Sterix as well or DD. I might actually need... Hmm. They do a lot of magic. I might just go Sterix right now, honestly. MR is not going to help me, but Sterix will might, might do the trick. Vlad's a problem. Like Vlad, without Vlad, if Vlad's on the fight, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. This guy is not really human. So we don't have many humans in our team right now. Got him going. That should be the kill. Headshot. Ooh, you'd love to see it. I don't think chasing is good right now. I might look for an R if they get too far away. Oh, Kate's actually trying to fight that. And now I'm gonna R. Ooh, the you means are delicious, by the way. You love to see it. Here I'm a W, just get the moon speed, smite, Q, W, press it down. <clears throat> Looking good. And they are back at that game. Back at it again with another Briar video, which we do with this build unbeatable. If you do this build, you're going to be the best you've ever been. Also, this item gives you more AD the lower you are. So it's something you can always take advantage of as well. So a lot of attack damage. We're talking really a lot of attack damage. I think you, it's a lot of attack damage. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, if you don't, you can't handle a lot of attack damage. I recommend you. What in tarnations is this guy doing? Oh my god, this guy just obliterated me. He's dead though. And this would be where I go into DD, especially this game. But I'm not going to buy, like I, I keep a pink until I, I have enough for like this item, right? So this is going to be 1100 and that's when I'm going to buy that component later. I like having this more than this. They're both quite good though, I would say. I will say this build does lack a bit of ability haste. So we do want to have a bit more ability haste generally. But I do think this rune is bugged right now. You supposed to, it's supposed to give you around 15. Maybe it does, but it just doesn't add it to this. It's sort of what I'm thinking. But overall, like this should be okay. Go Aatrox and you're dead. Okay. Aatrox. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, a, did I just say he was dead? I think I was speaking about the Vladimir. Because my boy's under, he's got this under control completely. It's a walk in the park. No, okay, he's dead. But he's done enough that we're going to be able to kill him afterwards. He did his part. I think he's going to run up to me. Oh, he's trying to fight them. I'm just going to push the wave. There's no way that he wins that. I need to hit R here, but I kind of messed that up. Oh, I'm sorry. He didn't get to go on him. He might try to come back on me. A lot of AD. This guy, this items give me 80 attack damage. You love to see it. You love to see it. Caitlyn, she's a rat, so we're definitely gonna try to kill the rat. Oh 
my god, I got collectored. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. She has some flash already. Yeah, she's dead. That was whatever, bro. Like, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Let her have it. Let her have it. Game's over. I'm unbeatable. I'm stoppable. You see the kill line? See the stat line? Buddy, they ain't got- they don't know what's cooking. They don't know what's cooking. But yeah, you can always skip this out and build it later if you wanted. Or you can just go into more survivability with the sterics, with the death sounds earlier. Up to you. Sometimes I go DD earlier just because DD gives you more ability haste. And it's- you know, DD third item is extremely strong too. I've been building it. This item is more of a luxury one where it's like more AD is nice, but sometimes you really need to just survive. Survive. Live. Live. I have R. I can R up here. They could just rush through here, but I'm gonna one shot the wave fast. All I'm trying to do here is hit an R. Damn, man, that fight went terribly. What happened? I hit R. No Jin. Jin somehow finds the best ways to die without any help. I do need the DD. DD is very important there. But I was surprised to die so quickly. Like I said, crit, crit, crit is a problem, right? Crit 80 carry is extremely strong. Somehow Warwick soloed my Echo and Aatrox. You don't love to see it. You don't love to see that. So I really need my Death Sounds. What to save up? Lost Baron and Dragon. Oh, sucker. Yumi. Yeah. Yumi, 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 Yumi. I am the highest level, though. It's been a while since I've been, you know, like the experience is nice. You can see the difference in actual experience now. It's quite insane. Here, cut down. I'm not sure if Coop, the Coupe de Grace or cut down is better. I've been trying both of them. I think Coop might be better than cut down because generally I want them low. So that's like a big thing. And here I want to get level 18 ASAP if I can. We need some more pinks. Unfortunately, I do have to kill this Kate. So we need some moves. Wow, we didn't kill any of them. Where's my Nami? Where's my fish? Why is she not with me, behind me? I think they're overhealing Aris, man. They have too much healing now. <gasps> okay, maybe I, I fooled around a bit too much. Maybe I fooled around a bit too much. The sashimi may have been a, a sword in my side. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. That's how the game goes. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck on the climb. Good luck on the games. Good luck on this new season. I'll be uploading daily again. So catch you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>